All right, before the break, um, you saw my reading with Hollywood medium Tyler Henry, who happens to be here with us today. So now it's my turn. I'm blessed to have three of my grandparents still living, but in 1995, I lost my dear grandfather, Harold Welch, who I was very close to. It's been so long since his death, so I, I didn't know if this would work, but yeah. here's what's happened. I'm gonna go to your mom's side of family, I think. For some reason, I feel like I'm being pulled there. I have an older man that's coming through immediately. Um, yeah, when he, yeah, and he comes through very strongly. Now, that would be on mom's side, correct? Mm -hmm. Immediately as he comes through, he's so sweet, and he's so connected to you, okay? He, first thing he's saying is, I wanted to know that I'm clear mentally, okay? I don't know why this is coming across the way. Gosh, that's the picture I have right here. So we've always thought if we had a boy, we were going to name him after yeah. him, but we haven't had a boy yet. So. Right. This is a very dignified man. This is a very proud man. He's proud of his family. He's proud of him. He's a very hardworking man. And so he's saying to have to go through this process of slowly losing who I was was the hardest part. It was hard. Absolutely. He's referencing to Grandma um, and making a, a, a connection to her. Now, funny enough, um, I don't feel her on the other side. So is your no. grandma still here? She's still here. Nice. Great. Because he's making a very special connection to her. He's wanting it to be known. He's showing them dancing. And he's acknowledging That's that. That's their one on their first date. Right? Oh, and he's acknowledging that they'll be able to dance again someday. And that when it's her time to go, he'll be the first person to hold her hand and help her on the other side. There's a reference to the two girls. He's talking about, this has been since he's passed, very clearly, so it would have to be your two girls. Yeah. He does reference to one of them actually seeing him, and, and there's an instant where I feel like I'm, I'm sitting there, and he's, he's coming through, and he's talking to them, and it's like little girls babbling and looking behind you, and that's actually him. So he has a connection to your youngest very, very strongly. Uh, as far as children go, he's referencing that there is going to be a little boy that will be born. Oh my gosh. Uh, tears are a release. <laughs> like that's that's a healing process. That's definitely... Well, we loved him so much. Of course. And that love continues on. And he's still around. He really is. And he's a peace. So I'm gonna have a baby boy. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the headline. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, Tyler. Tyler. Oh my gosh. We should point out how Tyler does what he does. You hand him an object and you hold it in your hand. And both Jen and I want to say, when we first came up to, to Tyler, we were both kind of skeptical. Although we like your show, we said, oh, this is probably isn't going to work for us. And I think we were both equally surprised um, about, especially just watching all the buttons you were hitting with, with, with Jenna. Mm -hmm. right. Do you actually hear someone speaking to you? Is it, what is it? Well, you know, I always say my sixth sense kind of goes through the other five senses. So I'm primarily clairvoyant, so I generally see information usually, but I can hear a voice, I might get the scent of someone's perfume, or I might even get a physical sensation that corresponds with how someone passed. Mm -hmm. You you know, one of the things skeptics might say, oh, you could find this information where, you know, on the internet. Google or whatever. Um, Two of the things you said to me aren't able to be found on the internet. Mm -hmm. One is that you saw him on a roof. Mm -hmm. My grandpa fell off a roof. He yeah. was a house builder in Midland, Texas. And the other thing is that he was with babies um, mm -hmm. that my grandma had lost. Mm -hmm. So. What do you, how do you see that? What do you see? You see him on a roof? Right. Well, in that particular case, I had a vision of him, and then I got a reference to a fall. And so with seeing that, you know, I saw him being in an older age working on a roof, and that was the vision that came through. And I had no idea I was reading either of you, you know, when yeah. I went into this. So I was completely shocked when I saw him. I think the you. funny thing is, too, I think you, like, there are facts, again, we're talking about skeptics, but you could read online. There are other things that you capture, which is the essence mm -hmm. of someone. When you talked about how funny my dad was, like, different things that you thought, this is not something that you could you would google down and see you also said in there didn't it's not the piece but my my sister ma majored in international relations and you said who who's been in international relations i'm like what a weird major i was like my sister but the fact that he um that that you could pick up on on details you when i hugged you when we were done you were sweaty. Yes, very, very So moist. what, so what, <laughs> what happens? Do you, is it like a physical thing? It definitely can be. And readings yeah. are a little different depending on the circumstance, but it can be a very physical process. So it is a bit draining sometimes, but when I'm connecting to an individual, because I take on physical symptoms oftentimes of how they passed away, it can be very physically draining and so I sweat. You know, I have to say, um, one of the things that you've said privately is that you do this because you get comfort, that you give comfort yeah. for those that have passed away. And I, for me, you mm -hmm. gave me great comfort. I'm, 
And for, for me too, and I think when you started off, it's interesting, you said, you said I want to be clear about, I believe in God. Mm -hmm. So once, I think once you said everyone, we, everyone goes, okay. Right. And, yeah. then, and then everything else that comes is just from the, so it's, it's from the spirit, so they're. Right, absolutely. Uh, I believe that our loved ones are connected to us. Yeah. And when they come through, it's just making that connection. You, I talked to my mom on the phone yeah. after we were done, and my mom is, a mm -hmm. stoic woman, um, and she felt so much relief. She said, that's so sweet to hear. Yeah. Oh um, and it's just nice to know that the people that we love, mm -hmm. you know, are still around. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and that is. love continues on. That's really what this work is all about. And some people are skeptics. I called my mom and she said, there's <laughs> lots on Google. I said, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> but if you do it, there, and there, it, it's easy to be skeptical, but yeah, that moment. Right. Yeah. Well, you have to be in your presence. That's why I said, anyone who's a skeptic, which we were too, sit down and then tell us afterwards. Hey, by the way, congrats on being yes. uh, season two. I know. I, I saw that one coming. Yeah. <laughs> How many seasons do you have ahead of you? Did you really time? see that coming? I actually did see that one coming. So, I mean, Wait, how? We, talk about our show. Are we going to be canceled? No, 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 you're good. You're good. We're we good. have job security. Okay. We're fine. Job good. security. Thank you. All goodness. right. Be sure to watch Hollywood Medium with Tyler Henry Sunday nights at 10 Eastern. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.